Good evening, everyone. Uh, there was some discussion uh, about this screenshot on the WhatsApp group. So I thought I would go into a detailed analysis of these waveforms. So first, this is SIMV mode of ventilation with pressure support. The set rate is at 16 uh, breath per minute, meaning that every 3.75 seconds, there will be a mandatory breath. However, this breath can be synchronized with patient's efforts, as we see here. So this is the first one, and this is the second one. And this is one second here, two seconds, three seconds, and you can see it's about 3.6 seconds. Patient initiated efforts, indicated by the pink color here, and this symbol also. So the machine synchronized the mandatory breath that was supposed to happen at 3.75 seconds, synchronized it with patient's effort and gave it a bit earlier. So that's number one. Number two, what's happening with the pressure here? This is volume control. And the aim is to deliver 470 ml of tidal volume. Well, the machine will utilize pressure to deliver that tidal volume. This pressure is dependent on three factors. Number one, resistance of the airway. Number two, compliance of the lungs and the chest wall. And number three, patient's efforts. So that pressure will go up and down based on these three factors. So it's unlikely for the resistance and compliance to change within the breath here. We see variation in the pressure within the inspiration. So that is related to patient's efforts. In other words, if the patient is able to get the, the tidal volume with his inspiratory efforts, the machine doesn't have to give any pressure. And what we see here is variation in the pressure within the breath. You can see a decrease in the pressure, an increase in the pressure, decrease again here, and then increase here. So this is inspiratory effort of the patient. The machine is triggered. However, the patient continued to inhale. The machine did not have to utilize much pressure. At this point here, it looks like his interthoracic pressure decrease a little bit and then the machine gave an extra pressure then he inhaled again at a deeper level the machine's pressure went down again now at this point here this is plateau you can see zero flow we already done with the tidal volume i'll come back to the tidal volume later but here this is plateau zero flow we need pressure to keep that tidal volume inside the lungs. And the patient is not making that pressure. So that's why the machine's pressure went up. He was doing some pressure here, but not at this point. So the machine pressure went up. And at this point here, exhalation started. So the pressure is released. So that explains why we have variation in the pressure within the breath. It is due to variable inspiratory efforts of the patient. So that's number one. Number two, take a look on the flow here. You will see the flow goes up to this level here, and then constant flow, but for a short time, and then goes up, decelerates, and then becomes constant again. Now, this is volume control, and you know in volume control, the flow is constant usually. So forget about this increase and decrease here. Just try to eliminate it, and you will see the flow goes up to this level and would stay constant at this level. So it would be a square wave flow waveform. However, we have that increase here in the middle. And that indicates that this machine has adaptive flow. So once you set the machine at adaptive flow. I don't have the settings here, but that's what I'm uh, trying to explain that because of this, the settings of this uh, mode is based on adaptive flow, meaning that the machine will allow the patient to take extra flow. 
So this is the machine's flow, and then the patient inhaled that correlates with this one. So he took extra flow, and that would probably give him more tidal volume than 470 if it was deep flow. I don't have the number here. It seems to be around, so this is uh, 700, this is 350, and it seems to be around 470. So I'm not sure how, how much tidal volume he got here. But with adaptive flow, there's potential that the patient may get higher tidal volume if his air hunger, he may get higher tidal volume than the set tidal volume. So this is adaptive flow. So the machine adapted to the patient's needs. There was more demand of the patient that he needs higher flow, so he was able to get that higher flow. So to summarize, uh, three points here. Uh, number one, uh, that all those breaths are uh, synchronized with patient's efforts. It happened the patient is not breathing in between actually, but if he started to breathe here, and this is the support window compared to the synchronized window. If the patient started to breathe in this, at this point here, at that time we will get the set pressure support. It will be pressure supported breath, but we don't see any. That's number one. Number two, the uh, variation in the pressure is due to patient's efforts within inspiration. And number three, the increased flow here is due to the capability of this machine to give adaptive flow for patient's needs or demands. And that's all what I see on this screenshot. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please uh, share it in the comment section. Thank you.